The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. There was a Chabad rabbi who lost his son on October 7th, three weeks ago. He lived in America, the son obviously was in Israel. And now this Chabad rabbi who wasn't really out there, shaliach, like going to other places and putting tefillin on people and all that, he got on a plane, El Al flight, to go to Israel to be at his son's funeral, which he would get to at the very end. He's on the plane, and he's obviously, his life is shattered. And he's just thinking to himself, what could I do something nice in memory of my son? So he turns to the person sitting right next to him, and he says, would you like to put on a pair of tefillin? So the person sitting next to him, the person sitting next to him says, no, I'm sorry, I'm not, not interested, I don't do that. He says, okay. He then goes to the person next to that person and says, would you like to put on a pair of tefillin? He said, no, I'm sorry, I don't really do that. So now this rabbi is starting to feel bad. He goes to the third person. He says, can I ask you a favor? Can you put on a pair of tefillin? My son just passed away yesterday in a terrorist attack. Can you do a mitzvah in memory of my son? And all of a sudden, the man, like, he says, of course, please give me the pair of tefillin. I love to wear it. And then the man went over did. And then the man went over did. And then before you know it, there was a line in the aisle of the airplane of every single man on the plane waiting online to put on a pair of tefillin in memory of this man's son. Until the pilot told the co-pilot, do me a favor, you take over flying the plane, I got to go put on tefillin. We're the greatest people in the world. We're the greatest people in the world when we know how to master this challenge. When we know how to be able to get up and at times separate and stand alone and insulate ourselves and strengthen ourselves and have the courage to make sure that our, ourselves and our children and our grandchildren are in a very focused state of mind, that we continue the legacy of Lech Lecha, but at the same time have the character, the midot, and the smooth skills to also know how to be beniv that the world feels like you are a blessing to them. And that challenge is very difficult. But it's that challenge that has brought all of the blessing throughout Jewish history. Whether it was the story of Achan, whether it was standing by Har Gerizim and Har Eval, or whether it was fighting the city of Shechem, or whether it was the first words that Hashem told Abraham Avinu. What we know throughout our history, that our blessing, our continuity, our strength, is all dependent on being able to follow the mission of Lech Lecha. Thank you very much. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. StoriesToInspire.org.